Hey guys, Most Wanted here. I'm going to teach you how to use the Advanced Editor. Choose a coaster, whichever one you want. I would prefer at least the Steel Coaster or anything to the right. For this video, I'm going to be using the Steel Coaster. Using the Basic Editor, I'm going to put down at least three base stations. Switching to the Advanced Editor by either clicking or pressing X. You're going to be greeted with what seems like a lot of stuff, but don't worry, a lot of this you're not even going to need. However, for this video, we're going to be talking about the yaw, the pitch, and the roll. The yaw, which is the green dot, controls left and right track movements. The pitch, the red dot, controls the up and down movements. The roll, the blue dot, controls the rolling of the track. The white arrow controls the length. You can either extend the track or decrease the track. Moving on to the menu, in the spherical manip, you have auto, smooth, yaw, and pitch. This will be checked. This allows the track to rotate freely. Whereas, if you disabled it, the ending of the track will always point in the direction it last was. It will never rotate upwards or downwards. However, you can twist it. Moving on to these little buttons right here, you have the snap to grid does exactly as it sounds, it'll snap the track to the closest grid. Whether the grid is way out here, or way down here, it'll always snap it to the grid. Using the reset node button, this will reset the track back to, back to its default position. The track feature, this will list all the different types of tracks you can use. Some of these you cannot use, such as the waterfalls, this is for the water rides. These four, the chain lift, the brakes, the boosters, and the base station, plus the normal, are all the ones you're going to be using the most. So using the chain lift, with the auto smooth yaw and pitch checked, we're just going to increase the track a little bit. Pressing Q on your keyboard will also build the track, or you can click the build button. I prefer Q, it's a lot faster. Now let's say we wanted to point the track straight. We can either snap it to the grid, or try to guess it ourselves. I like to snap it to the grid. You won't need to use the snap to the grid so soon. I would say if you were to reset the node, and you wanted the track to go up, it'd be a little weird to snap it like this. Or you can lower it, snap it like that, but I think the track looks a little too long. So I straighten it out myself smoothly just like that not perfectly straight but if you wanted to snap it you can next moving on to the move spline node this is similar to the spherical manip except you have arrows they act just the same except you do not have the roll you do not have the blue dot to do to use the roll you would switch to the rotate spline node. This allows you to use the roll. However, I don't find myself ever using these two. I usually just stick with the spherical manip. However, if you do want to use the move spline node, you can. This also has a snap feature. This, the 2.0, 2.00, this is the grid. So, with snap on, the track will not freeform. It snaps to the grid, its own grid. See how it's still slanted? Now, if you wanted it to be on the default grid, I would call it the universal grid. You can do that by snapping it to the grid. And now, it will always stay on the grid. Here, the position will change the position of the track, such as if you wanted to put negative 30, it'll rotate it. I don't find myself using this because of too much work, too much typing. Like I said, I just use spherical manip to handle everything. Here, using the pivot offset, this will change the rotation of the spherical manip, such as if I increase it upwards, this side will go up, this side will go down, like so. The snap length feature this uses the white arrow to either increase, it increase or decrease the length based on the grid. 
The snap rotate feature works for the roll. Similar to the basic editor, you have what's known as the bank, which is also a grid. All in all, using the advanced editor may seem a little difficult, but it's not. You'll get the hang of it. I use this all the time to make my coasters. Sometimes I'll use the basic editor if I don't want to try to match everything up onto the grid. The basic editor will always keep it on the grid. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section. I will do my best to help you out. My name is Most Wanted. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you again next time.